Hi, today I'm going to show you how you can build a website for your business really fast in like 10 minutes or 20 and all you would need to do after is to add your content and images but initial setup of your website should take like 10 or 20 minutes depends on how big your website is so let's let's start by creating a project first after you register on the div hunt you will uh, you will get to your dashboard here and let's create a new project here we have a list of templates and this is the easiest way to to create a website if you like some of these templates all you would need to do is to click clone it change text images and you are ready to go but in this case we are going to start from scratch and we will just use pre-made sections and elements to create our website so let's say i don't like any of these templates and i want to create something on my own so let's start from scratch let's call a website torino wait few seconds to be create for a project to be created and that's that's it so here we have a link for our project uh, this is like a domain uh, of div hunt and as long as you are free user you can use it you can use it always but for free users you can use this uh, don't worry about anything literally this your website will be hosted here and also you can change this in your general tab so you can type here something else and in case you want to connect your own domain you can do it here just type your domain and you will get instructions how you can connect your website to your domain so we don't need to worry about that in this video we'll just want to create a website now so let's open builder and here we here we go we have an empty screen first thing we can do now is i can explain you what is this this is like a canvas and uh, how you move around a, a, on canvas is is simple you can hold alt or control on your keyboard and you can zoom out with your mouse wheel while holding that and to move a, a left and right and top and bottom you can hold space on your keyboard and your cursor will become this grabbing icon and now you can click left click and move around so if i have multiple pages that we will have later i will show you that you can open multiple pages at the same time and uh, work like that so that's how you move around so to start we have on the left side pages components and layers uh, when you create a new project home page is already there so we don't need to create it later we will create some new pages but for now we don't need to worry about that we have components we will also use this uh, for elements such as navbar and footer because if on our website has like five pages in most cases navbar and footer are the same so we want to have one component that we are changing only on one place and that changes are being applied to all pages so we don't need to go to from page to page uh, to edit simple navbar when we need to uh, this is our layers uh, we will take care of that later on top bar we have styles where we can define our global colors if our brand or business has its own colors we can create here uh, simple colors for example uh, let's call them dark let's use this one for dark we can create a brand color for brand let's use this blue and we don't need to create white version we will for this website we'll just use these two so we created two colors that we are going to reuse later and uh, in future when we create while we are creating a website when i use these colors uh, for example in two months i decide i don't like this color anymore i need to change it only here and it is going to change globally across all of my items on website where i use this color that's why defining uh, your global color colors is important so let's start by building a website first thing you will notice you have a here to click uh, this icon plus section or this small one so if i click that uh, you will see that it opened a sidebar on the left with a list of the sections so i can find something what i like here and just click on it and it will add that section to my page 
So that's exactly what we want to do now. Uh, just let me explain you first what is LM. In, on top bar you can click elements and wireframes. Elements are style sections, they have color, they have everything applied to it. And wireframes are like blank versions of uh, constructions. So if I add this one, this doesn't have any styles applied to it. It's really basic, it's just like some kind of construction. So we will use elements for this tutorial. So first thing, we need navbars, obviously, so we can search navbar. This library is going to be huge in future. Currently, we are building every day uh, new sections for this library. Maybe in time you are watching this video, this library has like 50 navbars or something. But for now, in this example, we have only three. So let's say like this one. All the elements and everything here is already mobile responsive, so you don't need to worry about mobile. Your website will work perfectly on all devices. So if I click now on breakpoints here, we can go to the mobile and you will see that your uh, our, our navbar is responsive on all devices. That works for every other component. So let's go add new section. Let's type hero. For hero, let's use this one. Now we need maybe partners. We want to showcase our partners. We add a couple of logos there. Maybe we need something for content. So let's type maybe just the content and see what we got. Okay, this one is fine. So we'll just add that one. It, and it is already looking really, really good. So let's add maybe some testimonials. This is good, and for the end, let's add footer. For footer, let's add this one. So this might look uh, nice at first, but we need to swap colors a bit, because every section that, that we used uh, has its own colors. Font font is same for all, all of our uh, sections, but colors are not. So let's adapt colors. We want maybe to use uh, this color also here, so I can Click on this section. Uh, let's create a global global color of this this shade. I like this shade, so we will take this and uh, go go back to our styles and create a color. For example, background light, and we will set this color in our variable. Now I can click on this background and find in my design tab, uh, find uh, this background color and apply this one. And now these two match. I would need to manually change, upload my images here in order to match it perfectly, but this is fine. And also for this, uh, this section, we can change uh, this uh, purple one to my color. And now it's much, much better. So now this page looks really good. And if I check my mobile, it's perfect. As you see. And my homepage is ready. What we need to do now is obviously change our text, images and links. So how do we change text? Text is really simple. We just double click here and we type whatever we want. How do we change text is? So that's how we change text. And how do we change images? We click on image, we go to the settings tab, tab on the right side, and we can click here. And we, it will upload this window, uh, it will open this window where I can upload my images. So I will click upload, choose from my computer, and let's, let's pick this image. It doesn't matter. And that easy. I just change the image and that's it. So this is ready. Now if you change your all text and images, your homepage is ready to be hosted. And if I go to the, if I click here, it will open my website in another tab and I can see how it, how it is looking so far. So yeah, let's create a new page. So on the right side, you can click here, new page, or you can just simply go to the left sidebar and click here and create a new page. 
So for this time, let's click here and create page about us. And now we have about us page opened here. Uh, we want to use same navbar and same footer as on the home page. So what we do now is we need to convert navbar and footer to be components. Why is this important? Because in future, if we decide to change something in our navbar, we want that change to be applied across all of our pages. And that's why components are important. So how do we create a component? Simple. Just click, right click on this navbar, convert to component. Let's do the same to footer, convert to component. Uh, what we achieved with this one is now if we open tab component, we can see that these two components are here. We can open them here. And now when I change, for example, if I change, this is like, you can see this green, that means I'm currently editing component. So if I change this, this text here to home page, I can, I can go to my page here and I, I can see the change is also applied there. So it is applied everywhere. So we, we need to, uh, we need to also add now footer and number to this page. So how do we do that? We can simply copy paste number and footer here. So I can copy paste and that's it. So same we do for footer. Just make sure uh, your green element in this layer stub is selected before you copy and pasting. So in, or in order to not have a problem with that, maybe this another solution to add the uh, footer is easier for you. So what we can do also is to create add empty div. This is where you add new elements. I will show you that a bit later more. But if I create div here in my body, now I can go to the components tab, click right click on my footer, click get component, and on my on my div now I can go set comp set footer. And that's it. Now we have construction of footer and number ready. So now let's add sections also on our about us page. So we click the same process here. So maybe I want this hero. You can drag and drop uh, these sections to reorder them. So basically I can uh, hold, click and hold hero and uh, move it around. I want hero this to be in, be in between a navbar and footer. So now we have that. Under hero, let's click to add more sections. We want maybe this, I don't know, let's just click click through maybe this gallery and yeah, this is like, a, let's say our about us page. I can click now uh, on this, uh, our products and do the same that we did previously. We change background color and stuff like that. I will not repeat my process again. Uh, now adding new elements, for example, simple stuff. Maybe we want, uh, maybe we want sub subheading under H2 here, in between of these two. So how do we do that? On top left, you have list of all elements, all elements available that you can play around with it and find what you're looking for. But in most cases, you only need like headings, paragraph, links, and images. So these four and maybe div sometimes. Okay, so how do we do that? We can just click uh, here. Let's add heading three. And now I can drag and drop this in between. So let's put it here and write something like, this is my sub heading. I can click on it, change color, whatever I want. And that's how you got uh, your subheading in elements. So yeah, that's basically it. Now for the end, let's link our projects, uh, our pages in the navbar. So we would need to do this on our main component because we want these changes to be applied across all, all components. In this case, we want, uh, this, we want these changes to be, be applied here and here on both of our pages.
So let's here click uh, home page, go to the settings tab, uh, find link and set page to home page and for about us set page to about us and these two pages are linked. Now if I go to our website a new tab, if I click about us it will show me about us page, if I go back and click home page it is going to show me home page and you can notice that this is working really fast so that's a single page application uh, your website as you can notice when I click uh, this icon is not refreshing so it is everything is instant and your users are going to love love this speed so yeah that's how it is easy to create a website in DivHunt if you have any questions comment below